What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new show on the channel that I like to call Horror Movie Mess Ups. We all know in movies and horror movies, comedies, whatever type of movie it is, there's never a, a perfect movie. There's always going to be a mistake that you catch, that someone forgot to edit out, that you're going to see a crew member step in, something like that. And this series is dedicated to that. Now before we get started with this series in general, I love movies. I'm not saying these movies are bad because of these mistakes. I just like to point out the mess ups that kind of make me laugh, kind of make me chuckle, and so and so. This, is, this, however, does not ruin the movie for me. This just kind of, like I said, it just makes me laugh and stuff like that, and I just think it's funny. Someone forgot to do their job. You go look on my channel. I'm not perfect either. I got a lot of mess ups through my videos, and you can probably uh, call them out. I'll probably even make a video about my channel on this series pretty soon on horror movie mess ups, but it'll probably be called or channel mess ups where you see all my mess ups. So without further ado, let's get started with our very first episode, It, the 2017 edition. So let's do this. Starting off with mistake number one. When we see Beverly inside the bathroom for the first time in a stall where she's kind of just sitting, kind of hiding out from the bullies, if you notice when she covers her uh, head from the backpack, it gets very drenched and stuff like that due to the trash and the water that they spill on her. Well, in the next scene when she walks out and sees Ben for the first time with his yearbook and his scale model, she, when she goes over to see him, we do see her in her backpack and they're completely dry. Don't know how she got dry that fast. Uh, same scene, mistake number two, when you see her in the bathroom stall, she puts out a cigarette with her, I wanna say, what was it? She puts out a cigarette with her right hand, but in the next shot we see her put out a cigarette in her left hand. Don't know why they would do that, but they did it. <laughs> Uh, mistake number three, when Beverly signs uh, Ben's yearbook for the first time, we do see that she puts the cap in her mouth, and then the next shot, it's not in her mouth, but then the next shot after that, it's back in her mouth. It's the little stuff I noticed, right? In that same scene from mistake number four, when Beverly goes and signs the yearbook, we do see she signs on the very top, then it moves slightly down, and at the very end of the last shot, it moves up in the right corner. Uh, I don't know if they got a bunch of different yearbooks and they were just signing them, but who knows. Uh, mistake number five, when we see Stanley in the Hebrew church and reading his Hebrew book, studying his practices, he is reading the book upside down. When you see a, a shot of the book, the Hebrew letters are upside down. How do I know this? Well, I kind of looked it up to see what it's supposed to look like right side up. Uh, and one scene where we do see Ben with multiple scars and bruises on his face, he looks pretty beat up. But in the next scene where they're at the quarry, gonna jump off from the ledge, it's literally the next day and his bruises look fine. No bruises on his face whatsoever. It's a little uh, kind of weird for me in a way. I mean, I know if you have a bruise, it's supposed to stay on your face most of the time. <laughs> uh, mistake number seven, in the scene where the Losers Club get into an uh, altercation with Henry Bowers and his gang, a rock is thrown at Henry Bowers' head. Two months later, we skip to August and the scar from that rock is still on his head. Looks pretty fresh and everything. But I would say after two months that the cut would be gone. That's just me though. Mistake number eight, after trying to get supplies for Ben, there are two things that you should notice in this uh, supply medical store that kind of caught my attention where it kind of ruins the vibe for the 1989 film. The first one, if you pay attention to the labels, the labels are kind of modern time labels looking like they're from today and not from 1989. On top of that, if you look very closely in the back on the ceiling, you'll see a camera. I know cameras were a thing, uh, of course, in the 80s, but they did not look like the dome-shaped ones that we have today. Mistake number nine, when we see Beverly walking towards the Losers Club for the first time, we do see something that's slightly wrong in the background. What is that, of course? Well, if you look slightly in the background, you'll see something that is um, that doesn't belong there. That's from a different era. 2015 to be exact. If you look in the background, you'll see a car. A lot of those cars in the background look modern, specifically a Jeep Compass from 2015. 
Mistake number 10, at the end, when the Losers Club are making their blood pact, Bill cuts each one of them with a shard of glass. However, if you look at that shard of glass when he cuts one of the people, the glass is not bloody at all. I would think if you were gonna get cut with something, of course there'd be blood on it, but that's just me. Mistake number 12, in that same scene as Bill finishes cutting the last person, he has the glass in his hand, but as he goes and grabs Beverly's hand, the glass just magically disappears. Now this honestly could have been a mistake, or it couldn't have been a mistake, he could have dropped it right before it, but it was pretty simultaneously where he had the glass, and then he turned around and was gonna grab the hand, and he had the glass still in his hand, and when he grabs Beverly's hand, the glass is gone. And the final mistake that I caught in IT 2017 is when Beverly kisses Bill, her hand position moves from something like this to like this in the next scene. Obviously, like I said, couldn't have been a mistake, but at the same time, who knows? It probably could have. But that is going to do it for the first episode of Horror Movie Mistakes. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat from this being like, yeah, these probably are not, you know, mistakes or whatever. But I'm doing this out of the comedy of horror. So if you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave that like button, leave some comments below of what you guys want to see next to Horror Mistakes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.